Okay, and welcome back, everyone. Um, a question I get asked a lot um, in War Thunder and my streams is uh, how do you actually download War Thunder skins and make them work in your game? Um, now, before we get into how to download War Thunder skins, what I would first like to talk about is how they work and the differences between the War Thunder Live website, which we have on the screen right now, and the in game War Thunder marketplace. So basically, any skin you download from this website, War Thunder Live, we will, we will call it because that's what it's called. Any skin you download from War Thunder Live will only be client side, meaning that only you can see them in game. Other players will just see the default skin that's on your tank. They will not see these skins. Now there is a lot more skins on War Thunder Live than there is the marketplace. Now with the marketplace. If you buy a skin from the marketplace, players can see that skin live in the servers, so it's server side, meaning everyone can see it in the game. But the only way to get your skin onto the marketplace is via Gaijin themselves. So War Thunder Live, anyone can upload a skin to uh, free of charge, and anyone can download it free of charge. So anyone can upload a skin to War Thunder Live, which means there can be anything on here. But the marketplace is selected by Gaijin themselves. So Gaijin will go through War Thunder Live and pick skins every update that they like and put them in to the update crate, which you guys might have seen. So the skins on the marketplace have to be selected by Gaijin themselves, you cannot put them on there. So the people that have skins on the marketplace were selected by Gaijin. But anyway, all, all of that aside, I get asked a lot how you actually download skins in War Thunder and make them work. Now, there's a there's a few ways that the creators, um, like myself, make the files for the skins. Um, we're going to show you one today. We're going to use some of mine as an example. Um, we won't download them because obviously I've got the files for them. But so say you download my, the Yak 9UT. Okay, so here you can see we've downloaded the Yak 9UT and it will come in a zip file like this. Now, there'll be two different ways you might see this. Um, they both work exactly the same way, it just depends how the skin creator has packaged the skin together. Now, the way I package skins is unfolded, so you'll see all the files just in the zip file like this. Um, some other creators will make it a bit easier and zip the folder so that you'll see a folder in here. Um, they work the same way, it's just a different way of installing. They're very similar, it just requires one folder. So you're going to want to come to your user skins folder in War Thunder. You get here by going to your War Thunder installation folder, wherever you've installed it. Mine's on my hard drive under games, then War Thunder, and then user skins. If yours is in Steam, then you go through your Steam apps folder and find War Thunder that way. Um, so once you're in your War Thunder folder, you will have a folder called user skins. If you do not have a folder called user skins and you've never used a skin before, all you're going to want to do is come to any skin, but it makes it easier if you make the skin for the plane you've, or the vehicle you've downloaded. You're going to come to the vehicle you want, you're going to click this magic wand tool, and that will generate a skin in the game folder. So you can see here it's generated the template Yak 9UT. So then what, we're, then what we will do is we will go to our user skins folder in War Thunder and we will find that template Yak 9 UT or whatever vehicle you, you downloaded. So once you come into here, you will see there is the five files. Tanks, it might be a bit bigger and there might be more files depending on what the creator has done. But it works the same way, it doesn't matter how many files are here, just that's what we need to do. So, um, if the creator has... Uh, done what I've done, where they haven't put it into a folder. There's two ways you can do this. So if it's if it's like this, when they're just files, you can either come into the file you've just generated, delete all of this, and then drag all of this into here, like this. Or you can create a new file in here. So new folder folder sorry to create a new folder and call it whatever you want so this the name of the folder does not matter the name of the folder will be the name of your skin so you can call this whatever you want so we're going to call it yak skin new so that's what the skin will be called in the game so we create a new folder and then we can drag these files into that new folder 
Um, and the folder can be called whatever you want because the game reads the BLK. So as long as you've got the BLK, your game should read the skin for that vehicle. Now, if the creator has already put these into a folder, it makes it easier for you. You don't have to generate a folder, you just drag the folder into a user skins folder and you're done. It's that simple. Now that is how you install skins. Now if we go back to War Thunder and we look under our Yak 9 UT, you can see that our freshly downloaded skin is now on this aircraft. It is that simple to install skins. Anyway, just a short video today. I hope this helped a lot of people as I get this question quite a lot on my streams um, when I am when people ask about my skins that I use in game. 90% um, of the skins I use in game will be made by me. So make sure you come visit the streams as we stream most days in the quarantine at the moment. Um, yeah, make sure you come visit the streams, they're awesome, we have a lot of fun. Um, you can see some of these skins that I make in action. We make tanks, planes, all sorts of skins for everything. Um, also, don't forget to visit my War from the Live link if you want to download some of these skins that you have seen today. Um, only one, but you might have seen some on the page at the start. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helps a lot of you. Don't forget to visit Twitch, War from the Skins, and any other links that are in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.